Hello everyone, so I quickly want to shed some light, haha, uh -huh. I get it, I'm, so, I'm hilarious, onto lights, right? So we have point light, spotlight, and surface light. So let's make, let me make three parts, you know, exactly for, you know, all of those lights. I'll just make them anchored so they're in one spot, like so. And okay, so the first part is going to be our um, point light, okay? So how does a point light work exactly? Well, number one, I believe it makes the part itself more bright a little bit. Yeah. So if you look at a point light, it has the brightness, obviously, right? How bright it is. So zero to 40, with 40 being the, you know, the brightest. This circle represents the actual range of the, the point light, you know, simple stuff, simple stuff. You can change the color and everything, which that actually does look quite nice. Um, range, you know, should be should be self-explanatory. Um, I'm not actually too sure what shadows is. I will be completely honest. Like, I think it's like if if we have a another part that that's like a blocking the light. I think it's for that. Like, for example, if we, if we have something like this, right? I think what shadows does is like. Yeah, okay, so there's like a the slight, um, if you if you may notice when I, when I turn off shadows. Yeah, so when shadows are on, it's a bit dimmer. When shadows are off, it's a bit brighter. Like if I just flick, I don't know if you can see it, but I think shadows just means like, like do other parts kind of absorb the light in a way. Um, that's basically all you have to know with point lights. So, you know, point lights are very, very simple. Next thing we have are spotlights. So spotlights are cool because they can actually point to a certain direction, right? So angle is kind of like this, you know, how wide is it? Um, so you could have like something like this. Brightness, again, you know, fairly, should be fairly obvious. Color, again, could be anything. This blue, bluish thing. Enabled, yeah. Face basically depends like, like the face of the part, right? So right now it's facing the front of the part, which is this side. But then if I say back, then it's gonna be on the back. If I say top, it's going to be on the on the top. Yeah, there we go. So you could actually, you know, have a light that points to a certain location. Um, and range, again, you know, should be fairly obvious what range means. Kind of like this, right? So you have this, like, nice arc shape thing. Um, that's basically it. And then the other light, which is pretty cool as well, is surface light. And surface light is, like, very similar to, I don't know... <laughs> What is this, bro? AE. Okay. Point a uh, surface light is kind of like a point light, but except like it's not like a co like a cone shape. It's more like this like triangle-ish shape, right? Um so meaning it has basically the exact same properties with the exception I believe of angle. Never mind, I'm stupid. No, angle is angle is all exactly the same. Okay. Yeah, and then you could have this range just go like like really long, you know? Yeah, just like that. Um, so I'm not uh, honestly too sure why would you would use a surface light instead of a point like a spotlight because when you when we look at the shadows honestly they're very very similar you know like I I, I don't see the big like um difference bet between the two I'll be honest but I mean like yeah then you know you have range obviously shadows which I guess is the same exact thing you have you know the, the face um and I believe for light, that's about all, all there is. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then if I if I just you know play right now with my character, I just hop myself into the game real quick. Play here, you know what? We're gonna summon our character in the sky. There we go. So this is how kind of how lights work, right? And as you can see, there's my shadow. So I'm actually, um, I'm curious. Wait, if I if I disable the spotlight shadow. Unless, no, the, sh the shadow's probably, like, from the sun. Yeah, there we go. So, okay, so the shadow already was there. So, to, to be honest, I don't know what shadows does. This is, like, the only thing I don't know. So, you know, make sure to make fun of me in the comments. Um, yeah, and as you can see, you know, our character kind of you know, switches through different, different lighting. Just like so. There we go. So, Roblox actually has, like, like good lighting. Like, I, like, people make fun of it sometimes, but, like, honestly, like... Like, come on, this is decent, okay? This is all right. For a, for a Lego game, bro, for a block game, like, come on, you know? Like, this this is all right. People just don't know how to use lighting, bro. They don't know how to, how to actually play around with color and everything. That's why their game sucks and looks terrible.
but now we're fine we're fine right you got a sun there this there that there um and let's see is there anything else in regards to lights that you should know about i don't think there is i guess in terms of like scripting stuff because i actually am kind of curious um because i don't know i don't know this myself are there any like events for um for point light so let's see if i do script.parent um well, yeah, obviously you can get the, you know, rain, shadows, and everything. Um, I guess that's it. For functions, do we have any function for the light? And we don't. That's That actually does kind of suck. I don't know. Lights, to me, have always been, like, seemed as this, like, almost primitive feature. Because there's just not enough, like, stuff you can do with them. Roblox cannot, can, like, honestly should make, like, just update these things and just give them more functions. Like, imagine a function which just makes it, like, strobe, you know? Like, bum, 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 you know, like, like that, like, turn, turn on and off again, which obviously you can script that easily by just, you know, like, sw toggling in the enabled property in the, in the script. But like, why would I have to do that? Like, Roblox, come on, like, give, give us, give us functions. Okay. That's like the, the whole point of functions to not, not make us do dumb code. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you can also like tween, like the, like you can animate the, um, like, the, you know, the, the ranges of these things as well. Which actually, you know what? That actually would be kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie, that would be kind of fun. You know what? Let me let me do that right now, actually. Well no 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 task thought wait. Well wait. Do. Okay. So I'm gonna make a loop and then I'm gonna make two tweens where it goes to, you know, the maximum range and then to the lowest range. Local TS equals I mean okay, as for as for lights, that's basically it. But if you wanna, you know, stick around, see me kind of experiment with, with this, then, you know, be, be my guest. Um, and then local tween info, tween info .new. Um, time is, I don't know, two seconds, easing, you know, easing, I can't type, bro, easing style, uh, back, there we go. Yeah, and then, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, you know, or no, I guess, local light is, e is equal to script.parent. And let's see, do all of them have a property named range? I think they all do. They all do, yeah, okay. And how how far does it go? Okay, this one is 60. Okay, so all of them are 60, I believe. All of them are all of them are 60. Okay, that's 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 great to that's great to know. Um and then what I can do is I can just make local tween one, right? Tween one is equal to TS create, like so. And then we're gonna, you know, modify the light. We're gonna modify, um, we're gonna give it the, the tween info. And then the property table is just gonna be range is equal to 60, like so. So this tween is going to tween the range to be max. And then this tween, tween number two, is gonna tween the range to be, let's say 10, okay? So we're gonna go to the maximum range and then the shortest range. And then while wait, I'll say tween one play. And then we're gonna say tween one dot completed waits so we're going to wait until the tween completes then we're going to play tween two and then we're going to wait until tween two dot completed wait there we go and if i just take this script and i just copy it into every single light let's actually see what happens because <coughs> i'm curious if this is going to work oh there we go yeah yeah there we go now, obviously, you know, they are very bright, which is something that we might want to, you know, change a little bit. But honestly, like, yeah, like, look at that. Now, I'll, I will be honest, you know, Roblox lighting, the only issue is that, like, it, it might take, like, a little bit to update sometimes. Um, so if, if, you, if, you know, if you want, like, animated lighting, then that might be, like, a small issue, I guess. But yeah, honestly, look, we just managed to animate the light. And if we, if we really wanted to, honestly, real talk, if we really wanted to, I could make this like 0 0.5, right? And so now it's going to be like insanely fast, right? Boom, 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 like that. My game is lagging out, <laughs> but it's fine. Boom, boom. Like how cool is that? You can make a little like flashlight animation. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty nice. Well, yeah, hope you, you know, found value from this. I mean, as always, obviously. Um, 
I, uh, you can check the comments. I have my course there. So if you're interested in that, you can go check that out. And we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.